Hi boys and girls, how are you? Another Sunday where we have an opportunity to just talk about um, God's Word. Okay, you ready? Uh, before I start, maybe let's pray. Father, we want to thank you today. Thank you for this time that we can just connect and share your word. I thank you for every boy and girl. Thank you, Lord, for your word, which is wonderful. Pray that we we'll continue to hide it in our hearts so that we may not sin against you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Good. Um, boys and girls, today we are in the book of Jeremiah as we started last week. Um, so we are continuing in that. Remember Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. And we agreed last week that we are very special. Never allow anybody to say you are anything else. You are very special before the eyes of the Lord. Today we're going to Jeremiah chapter 18. If you have your Bible, get it? Let's get there. Jeremiah chapter 18. This is what the word of the Lord says. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Go down to the potter's house and there I'll give you a message. So I went down to the potter's house and I saw him working at the wheel but the pot he was shaping from the clay was mud okay uh, in his hands so the potter formed it into another pot um, shaping it as seemed best to him I brought I got some play-doh here different types um okay i think i have different colors of play-doh this one looks the same let's see this one um yeah this one is green so different types of play-doh i hope it comes out yep there is the clay so jeremiah is told by god Go to the potter's house. Just go and watch. And so Jeremiah goes there and he sees a potter making pots, different type of pots. Okay. If a pot didn't look the way he wanted, squashed the clay and started doing it again. Okay started building it the way he wanted. Um, I'll show you a small uh, movie about how potters make those pots. Okay, So this is God speaking to Jeremiah. Go to the potter's house and look and just see. So the story goes further, verse 5. Then the word of the Lord came to me. He said, can I not do with you, Israel, as this porter does? So if there's something wrong with you, can I, this is God talking to Jeremiah, do the same thing, squash you, build you to be what I want you to be? If you are a thief, you're stealing cakes and stuff like that, can I? That's God is saying that to you. He was saying to Jeremiah, but he's saying to you, can I not squash that thieving stuff or unkindness in you and make you to be a kind person and make you to be a good boy or a good girl? That's the Lord asking. Can I not do that? Can I not do with you, Israel, as this porter does, declares the Lord, like clay in the hands of the porter. So 
are you in the hand, Israel? If at any time I announce that a nation or a kingdom is to be uprooted, torn down, destroyed, and if that nation I warn repents of its evil, then I will relent and not inflict on it disaster I had, I had planned. And if at any other time I announce that the nation or kingdom is to be built up and planted, and if it does evil in my sight and does not obey me, then I will reconsider the good I had intended to do for it. Boys and girls, the Lord would like to mold us to be what he wants. Now, if we choose the other way, if we choose to do bad and not listen to him, if we choose to continue sinning when the Lord is wanting to build us to be what he wants us to be, then it is your choice. The Lord will let you. But there is a day that is coming, boys and girls, the Bible says, all of us will account. You still have the chance today. Remember, we said last week, God formed you in your mother's womb. Today, the Lord wants to continue to build you to be what he wants you to be. A wonderful boy, a wonderful girl, a God-fearing young man, a God-fearing person who is passionate about Jesus, who wants to do good, who is full of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, self-control. Boys and girls, that only happens if you yield, if you allow God to build you, squash you, correct you, rebuke you, so that you come out. And people say, wow, this is an amazing girl. Wow, what is it about this boy? Shows kindness. He's kind. He's caring. There's something about them. That is a boy or a girl who has yielded to the porter, who is God, who is building you some people say a masterpiece. So I want you to know that boys and girls, that God is in control. He is the porter. He can do whatever he wants with you and me. What is important is you must yield to him. You must listen to him. Now, for Jeremiah, when he walked down to that porter's house, he knew that God is a, a spiritual message for him. It was not just about watching this porter making pots. He wanted Jeremiah to know that God would like to do that. Like the porter is, when a pot is not looking good, he can squash it and start afresh. God wants you to listen to him as he molds you, as he makes you what he wants you to be. Is that okay? So choose to listen. Choose to obey God's word so that you will be that which God wants you to be. I mean, he wants to make something good out of you. Huh? I mean, I don't know whether you have uh, played door at home. You can make it what you want it to be. Hmm? Can you imagine the porter who is God doing that, molding you, and say, hey, Itai, I want you to be like this. Hey, Mary, I want you to be like this. Kudzi, I want you to be like this. Uh, Takunda, I want you to be like this. God molding you to be a masterpiece. And it's important, boys and girls, all we need to do is to yield to him, to listen to him. I want to do our memory verse. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nation. And remember, 
We talked last week that God wants us. Some of you are going to be doctors, some are going to be preachers, some are going to be teachers, some are going to be nurses, some are going to be engineers, pilots, whatever you are going to be. But you must be willing for God to be working on you, for the porter to be building you to be what he wants you to be, to be the best uh, teacher available, to be the best preacher, somebody who brings good news of our Lord Jesus Christ to different people in the world, to be that best engineer, to be that best designer, artist, whatever it is that God has planned for you. But you must be willing for him to work on you. And that only happens, boys and girls, when we listen to God's word, hide it in our hearts and say, God has said this to me and I want to be like that. So continue to ask for the spirit of God to help you, to guide you, to correct you, so that we may not sin against God. That will be boys and girls that are wonderful to be around because we fear God. We are allowing God to mold us to be what he wants. We're going to pray. Father, I want to thank you that, God, you are the porter and we are the clay. I pray for every boy and girl who's listening to me. I pray for them that, Lord, they will yield to you, God, that they will allow you to make them what you want them to be. Thank you, porter, for working on us, for building us to be good boys and girls, the masterpieces, boys and girls that are full of the Spirit of God, that please you all the time. I thank you and I pray for every one of them, those who are not well, thank you Lord for healing them, those who are asking for something as we spoke in the past, thank you Lord for hearing their prayers. We bless your name and we love you Jesus. Amen.